on the hill tonight is that gentleman right there. That is Tyler Anderson. And Tyler Anderson coming off a really solid start his last out. Got him. Change up and a good one. And a fastball up and Cattell knocks it into the left field corner. Dickerson over to cut it off and Marte has a one out double. And he's walked the bases loaded. Belt got into the game to play defense last night, but he did not get in at bat. And he's swinging the bat pretty good right now. Little jam shot. They're going to get the out there and they're going to throw down to second and they get the double play and the Giants score a run. It's one nothing. But when it's all said and done, the D backs have to be very happy with that. Thunder on the ground. That's a fair ball. Crawford's on the move. It misses that little cutout down the right field line. And Crawford's going to be held at third. The Giants have runners at second and third with two outs. It's still only one base hit. Swing and a miss. Zach Gallen strikes out Yastrzemski. And strands two. It stays one nothing Giants. On the first pitch, Kevin Crone pops it up. Belt puts it away. And that'll bring up Carson Kelly. Little jam shot. I don't think anybody's going to get there. No, it's Belt who puts it away. Don't bet against the big fella. Just like a tight end. Got him again, and that's the fifth time Calhoun has struck out. The 2 1 to Trump. Trump hits it into right center field, and it's going to fall in front of Calhoun. So Trump has got a leadoff single, first base runner for the Giants since Duggar's double in the second. Right at the knees with a fastball. And that's strikeout number six for Gallon, and Michael Yastrzemski says it's down. That's hit to the right side. Marte gets it and throws to Walker. And they get the out at first. Christian actually fell down, had to get himself up to get to the bag to take the throw from Marte. They get the out on Dickerson. That'll end the inning. This one goes the other way. Yastrzemski on the move. Ball starting to carry. And Yastrzemski makes the catch. Up against the wall to take extra bases and a run away from the D-backs. What a great play. Belt, base hit, left field. Sometimes it looks so easy. Yes, it does. There's another one on the ground right to Crawford. I throw and Belt comes off the bag, says Adam Hammery at first. Two and two. Base hit can tie the ball game. And there it is. It's into right. Yastrzemski bobbles the ball. Starling will score, and we're tied at one. Just the second hit for the Diamondbacks, and their first since the first inning. Center field moving back is Marte. Still moving back. Still moving back. And it's off the top of the wall. And they're going to hold up Crawford as Bart missed a home run by inches. Wow. And the walk. And the Giants take the lead. Can't defend that. Here's Dickerson and the walk. Gift after gift after gift. Solano has been a great late inning hitter this year. Get on the ground to third. They're going to get one there, and that's all. And another run comes in. It's four to one as Dubon scores. Seven walks. Issued to the Giants tonight by D back pitching. Brandon Bell will be the first hitter that Widener will face. The Giants have Yastrzemski at third and Solano at first. The one two is drilled into right center field by Bell. That's going to get down base hit. One hop to Marte who cuts it off. Yastrzemski in to score around second heading for third Solano. He's there safely. Brandon Belt with a line drive single to knock in another run. It's five to one Giants. Who's had 76 starts? Who's never been here? It's a big deal. Solano's got it as he flips this one away from Crawford, but no harm. One out. Thank you, Shift. Out into center field for Dubon. 
Dubon will catch. <laughs> Tyler Anderson's thinking, man, am I glad I'm not in Denver? Because that might be gone. <laughs> well, that's true. Get on the ground to Crawford. And Anderson's going to do it. So there's a complete game three hitter for Tyler Anderson. And at some point, he's going to smile. Uh, it's such a gift. And I love the fact that Gabe Kapler gave him the opportunity. He absolutely did.